Well, boys and girls, it's another day back at the shop. Got some big plans in the future here. We're going to be moving shops. I don't know exactly when, but we will be moving shops. Too entirely sure where, but I do have blueprints ready for new shop and, you know, whatever, ready to go. Just arrived here at the shop and just going to go ahead and wait for the customer that I've been waiting for for the past week now. I go ahead and just wait for the customer, which I do want to take my second gen Dodge and turn it into a drag truck. I think that'd be really cool to do, actually. I'm going to go ahead and call the customer up say we are ready to go oh it sounds like someone's here this is the customer i've been waiting for for the past week he wants me to turn his truck basically into a sem semi sema truck build it's a 2500 hd duramax silverado 06 i already got all the parts waiting for him it's just i've been waiting for him for the past week now to actually just get here we just been super busy around the shop getting things done here and there so let me go ahead and just hop in here and then we can go ahead and get to work on this truck i guess this is his work truck but he wants to turn it into a semi sema rig still going to use it for work yeah i guess we can go ahead and just get this build underway here we can just go ahead and just get to work and honestly it's getting cold i don't know why i opened both doors up but i'm gonna go ahead and shut that door go ahead and get to work i gotta call my buddy up jimmy and see if he wants to come into work today and help me up on this build and i have another customer uh showing up as well Alrighty, well the other customer did show up and let me tell you this truck is extremely loud i guess he uses this to go mud bogging with his buddies and just having fun a nice little ford pretty sad what he wants to do with it i don't really want to talk about it or even build it to be honest he wants a squatted truck we're not going to worry about that truck for right now uh, i'm gonna go ahead and just get to work on this truck and then uh just go from there well boys and girls it's been about a week here at, at full throttle customs we just now got the 06 duramax completed as you guys can see this truck looks amazing we hood stacked it because that's what he wanted he wanted chromies on it somewhat rubber band wheels we got show off lip kit on there honestly it's nice we put pain on the bumper there we put a brow right there as well and we just left it white because that's what he wanted but everything is paint matched to the best of our abilities uh powder coated suspension sort of the show off lift honestly just looks amazing with this truck put a little bit of lift kit on it i think it's about like four inches from the uh, ground custom goose neck in there as well and this truck just looks really good so let's go ahead and just pull it out of here and she sounds real good too but I'm gonna go ahead and stick this over here. I gotta call the customer to let him know that his truck is done. For this young teenager's dream of a squatted truck build. I do got everything ordered. All I gotta do is take the back lift off and raise the front up a little bit. Put the wheels and tires on what he wants and just, you know, honestly just go from there but like i said a week ago i honestly don't even want to be working on making a squatted truck it's whatever the customer wants and he's going to be paying so well boys and girls it's been about three weeks the shop we've been putting in me and jimmy both been putting in a lot of work at the shop here still got the customer's truck i don't know what he's doing i did call him he's just ignoring all of my calls so honestly i'm not too worried about it i guess we'll end up having a new truck and we can just put it on display if he doesn't return my phone calls because it has been about two weeks almost three weeks since i heard from the guy but i guess let's go ahead and finally check out this monstrosity they want to but this is what he wanted so alrighty so for let me turn the lights on here okay so for this build we obviously went with a nice pretty looking blue took out the back suspension can be somewhat squatted that's what he wanted we put flakes on as you call it not really rubber bands here uh he wanted this uh myrtle beach truck week sticker on he wanted that duck sticker on and there's a few more stickers in the back there uh he wanted a yeti toolbox in this absolutely god-awful ugly tennis ball tenna thing and one of these work lights that he's probably never going to use let's go ahead and just uh take this out of the shop here we did quiet it down a little bit because he did, didn't want it being too loud. I'm just going to set this over here because I don't want to put it near the display area. Uh, but yeah, that's another truck done. Got to wait for the customer to come pick that up. Give him a call. Let him know that it's done. Hopefully he'll be here in like the next hour. Alrighty, well, 
that customer is off he is happy and satisfied we got paid honestly it don't sound too bad leaving another happy satisfied customer and this guy over here is honestly still ignoring my phone calls so i guess we have a brand new truck and honestly i'm not mad about it because this is a pretty nice rig i think we can go ahead and pull my truck around it's honestly having some issues starting it, it runs here and there sort of let me go ahead and just pull this around front. Alrighty, well, it took me like 10 minutes to get this into the shop here. Finally got it, and did I just hit my mower? Certainly did. 10 minutes to get this into the shop here, but we finally got it into the shop, and now me and Jimmy is gonna go ahead hard working on this thing. It shouldn't really take too long to get it work uh, into a drag build. And again, drag builds take about forever. We are gonna go ahead and get to work since we are done working on customer trucks for the day. We will see you guys when we are done with this drag build well boys and girls it's been about another month here at the shop we finally got the drag build all done and i'm honestly excited to show you guys how it turned out and yes i am driving my brand new truck guy never called me for it so this is ours now i'm honestly not too mad about it so i'm just gonna leave it here on display and whoever wants to buy it can buy it let's go ahead and check out our brand new drag truck that me and jimmy done mainly me because he did all the paint work prepare your guys' eyes because this thing is actually pretty nice and it sounds really good and it's mean here she is this is a drag truck not your typical drag truck that you would see driving on the streets it is completely street legal but if a cop happens to be behind me or see me down the road we'll get pulled over for this so Technically, we're not legal, but it is legal in my eyes because I don't care. So we went with uh, nice JTX Forge wheels on this. We took out the headlights so the air filter can it can breathe and it has room for it because there's not too much room in the engine bay there. Completely all paint matched, gasoline green. I think this is a really nice color on it. We got our GoPro up front and then we got our GoPro in the back too. To be honest, I might be taking this to some drag races here. Uh, I'm not too entirely sure for it because it really isn't that fast but let's go ahead and open the door up and then we can go ahead for a spin here oh yeah not to mention there's a big fat stack in the back oh oh, oh yeah this thing is nice got one bucket seat that is an emergency brake i believe and then we got all our gearing system down there let's go ahead for a drive this thing is nice it's clean I can't believe how, how how it sounds. This thing sounds really good. Well, let's go ahead and sneak it down the road here. By the way, there's no gauges as well. I took them all out because I don't need them, and I put a rubber ducky right there. Caked with snow. I don't know about going down that road. Go ahead and go down this road. I know we're just sneaking it down the road. This is probably a terrible road. I might wreck the truck, but... Go ahead and see how she go, how fast she can go. Oh, ho, ho, we're already at 110 miles an hour. I should slow down. I should slow down. 130, 140. That's a turn. Stop. I think the brakes are good. Go ahead and just turn around real quick for the cops see us. Let's do a donut. <laughs> Didn't take it down the highway. Just really curious to see how fast we can actually go. Gonna go ahead off the roller. Oh yeah, this thing sounds so good. Keep it going. Come on. 165. Going 190 miles an hour. This thing is wicked. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing turned around here. And I'm pretty sure a cop did see us flying down the highway. So we gotta hurry up and book it back over to the shop. If you guys did enjoy today's video, let me know down in the comment section below as always. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Yep, just seen the cop. Gotta go. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio.